Okay. This is so nerve wracking, man. I know. It's confusing. Dad, what are these parts? Okay, so we have the flapper on, we have the inboard passenger side, and we have the outboard passenger side. And what we need to do is set these two plates in such a way that when I rivet this second, the outboard plate to the outboard flapper on, it is completely matched to the inboard one so that when controls are made, these two are synchronized. And then once we're done with this, we're going to add our counterweights that will be um, supporting this so it makes it easier on the flight controls. And that's going to be the next big thing to do after we do this. Can you think of any other tricky things about this? Because it's been a little while since we actually yes. were working on we this. We haven't really it. worked on flapper on since um, probably June, late June. Uh, most of July was spent working on engine related excitement. Yeah, and it's Ju it's, uh, it's August, August now. Yes, Just now August. Early August. Like August 2nd. Hmm. Uh, the second, we're entering our second year of construction. So the tricky bits on this are quite significant. Um, biggest and most important one is to get them flat. Get these things flat. And oh, so yeah. when you rivet, sandbags are really important so they you don't get uh, any kind of distortion. Or, are they? Did you use sandbags on this one? I didn't. I just used the no, board. I, I, feel, I don't know. I feel like... They didn't make it much of a difference, personally. Yeah, but anyway, so that's one bit, and this this angle thing is pretty a bit of a tricky bit to get that 45 or that uh, 23 degrees. Um, you need 20, sorry, 23 millimeters from the base of this up, so that you can um, use that to hang um, the some controls. Don't know what's going to go there yet. It's a it's a thingy for a, a thingy for a thingy. So here we have some. Uh, some of the actual skeleton of the flapper on right here. So this is the, um, which one is this? This is the, which one's longer? One of them's longer, the, yeah, the, uh, the inboard is longer. The inboard is longer. Yeah. Inboard, yeah. So this is the inboard flapper on right here. And then the, well, some of the outboard one, we haven't finished putting this, this one together. So right now we just have the, um, these two, the outboard, and the inboard right here. And they're upside down. Yeah, they are upside down right now. So, but you can see, so on the inboard side, we have this plate mounted on the end. And, and both of them. This is at an angle too, it's not a 45. It's got a, kind of a side slope. The, yeah, the end of the flapper on is, is the at an angle to match the, the right, to match the, uh, the fuselage. Right, yeah, and then it's got that like plate on there. Yeah, I haven't, um, I haven't really filmed much, or we haven't really filmed much of, of actually building this because um, uh, I just haven't really been. I haven't really been working on this. Mostly, it's been Dad working on this, doing a fine job. Well, it's not difficult. The um, you have to go slow and make sure you didn't get lost in the which way is up. So it's always good to mark the top and the bottom. I found uh, myself a couple times trying to figure out which way was up, especially when you get to these brackets. And getting these brackets cut correctly, and this. Oh yeah, and that, yeah. That a lot of, a lot of marks are good. Sharpies are your friend. Sharpies are your friend. Use them with lots of, lots of vigor and, at all you know whenever possible. Yeah, pretty much. Because, and so what you're doing here, uh, again, this is so this is the first one that we're doing. I don't. We may be doing this completely wrong. I don't know. But uh, I hope not. What we're thinking here is that by, by marking. Uh, by matching these up on the table, the flaperons, and then clicking this plate here just to hold it in place, we can we can uh, figure out where to drill the holes by marking the the front and the the bottom or the back of this plate. So I guess what we're gonna do at once we since we now that we have the marks, yeah, we'll click up the pilot hole and then we'll um, line up the holes to drill the the remaining three holes that go for the, to tie that plate to the um, spar. Right, yeah, because this, this hole is the most important one to actually match up. Mm -hmm. So at least now we know that this hole is gonna be in the right spot if, as long as we keep this plate. On those lines. Right, yeah, right here and here. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I'm sure it will not work out like that at all. Basically just the biggest thing to keep in mind when working on the flapperons is just to be careful about getting turned around as far as w which flapper on you're working on, whether it's outboard or inboard, and whether it's 
right side up or upside down and all that sort of stuff because they're very similar but there are subtle differences in terms of like the the rib spacing and you know where things go and um, so just keep that in mind. That might be it on the flapper on stuff for now. I don't know if I film some more stuff while we're building them then I'll make another video or something but that's just what's going on. We got them together. They're very long. They're like quite long. Uh, 12 feet or something and that's all that's all that's all I got that's all I got right now we've been trying to clean up the garage and figure out this engine stuff oh that very dynamic stuff. situation going on we're trying to figure out what we have and what we don't have what we got from Zenith what we got from UL power kind of a mess but we're getting through that and uh, that's all I, that's real that's all I can think of right now bye Ah, uh, huh. shiny.